Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be trying this demo for the adventure horror game, Indica. This had a trailer that came out a while back and looked kind of really weird. All I know about it is that the main character is a Russian nun. Not sure of the time period. Early 1900s, I'm guessing, or late 1800s. Anyways? Take a look, please. There's nothing to look at. Better give me an injection. Oh, my God. I'm afraid this will happen. If we don't amputate it, you won't survive the afternoon. But our prison doctor, he told me the same thing. Word for word. But that was over a week ago. And he didn't do anything? Sadly. The only surgical equipment he had was a was a rusty wash basin. Very funny. All right, all right. Don't don't worry. It should be like that. Only like that. I'm I'm also talking to God. To God. Great. need to get up if you don't want to lose something else to frostbite. Everything, every event, it all happened as I was told it would. And I'm certain I was the only one who left that train alive. It's all going according to plan. Every fucking step is God's plan, do you understand? So taking me hostage was God's plan? I know what you're thinking. But remember the gospel. The father who gave his money to the prodigal son, not to the beloved one. The good one. To the bandit. You had been murdering and stealing, but came back. He came back. Do you understand? I think the Lord is happier to see to see one repentant sinner than well, a hundred thousand righteous people. I don't know. They don't even need repentance. Do, do, do you hear me? You know, he he laid everything out before me, spread out like a deck of cards: the past, the present, the future. Who? God. Who else? I was lying there, about to die. And a sister, just like you, brought me some water in his mug. I was drinking, and I saw, I saw ripples in the water, little round waves, and heard a whisper. So I drank, and... You heard God in a cup? In a cup, yes. But that's, that's not the point. I'll show you when we get there. Look, a water tower. That means the station is behind the windmill. The station? Why? We're doing fine. We've only got fuel for a couple of bus. I won't be able to drag you around with no steam. Maybe we should go around. A nun and an officer? Who cares? Well, the telegraph poles. The cable's ripped out, though. And the road. 
Doesn't look like it's been used lately. do this. It's as if they blocked the passage on purpose. The brake is rusted shut. I have to find something to get rid of the screw. It won't fucking budge. place is pretty destroyed. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. I do like her steampunk motorcycle though. Let's pray. On the life of God-pleaser Bartholomew, St. Bartholomew was so mild and pious that even wild animals were not afraid of him. Hmm. Bartholomew killed a bear and regretted it. Maybe be nice to animals. So this level up system is weird. I'm guessing these are like standard perks, but I'm not sure how anything affects anything. I'm gonna go with guilt, cuz. I have a feeling most people will go with repentance. I'm also no sure if there's like a character screen or something where you can see all of Indica's stats. Or of course this is the demo, so there's no like real character built yet. I don't think that information is released. What is this giant pot in this room? Like, it's way too big for a hot pot. Are they boiling people in there or what? I'm not gonna lie, this is giving you Resident Evil, the village vibes. So? the life of St. John. John fell into a pit. Hmm, meek and humble. He prayed to God and God gave him a branch, but he believed it was from demons and jumped back into the pit. Makes sense. If you start hearing voices, how do you know it's from God versus devil? The graphics aren't bad. <laughs> Maybe there's something in that shed.
unlocked. I'm guessing I need something here. Ooh, this is reminding of like the old Silent Hill games for some reason. I'm curious what the puzzles are like in this. It feels like one of those old style games. I guess this wrench is what we need to move the cart. Paravesca Friday. So, Indica's father is Paravesca? I'm guessing he's some sort of something priest or something. I never thought there would be a game about a nun, but this is kind of cool. So we need to move this ladder to get out of here. So? Found a wrench. Give it to me. sure about this guy we're with. I think he's like a soldier, but his arm looks pretty messed up. I kind of have a feeling he's gonna turn on us at some point. Just a dog. Calm down. I hate them. Hurry up. Quiet, quiet, little doggy. We won't hurt you. Are you crazy? Run! This was Resident Evil. Kudets. I kind of wish I knew more about Russian Orthodox Christianity. You know, I, I would have already fucked you up with my bare hands if I wanted. Well, hand. Why? Why the fuck did you throw away the revolver? Oh, well, it would have been useful. I mean, a girl. Oh, I would. I would never. Well, oh shit! Tell me something. If you're God's chosen one, why didn't God heal you completely right away? That's a good question. Here's your answer. Here. Here. The cadets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Come on. I don't understand. So God had enough power only to stop the rotting, but to heal you completely, he needed some kind of tool. It's not, it's, it's not about the tool. 
a man can't be saved against his will, you see. Basically, look, yeah, it has nothing to do with my arm. It's about the path, the path we've been given, and whether to follow it or not, it's up to us. And what do I have to do with it? So, possessed people are taken to the Kadyats? Everybody is. Do I look possessed to you? No, not you. All right, let's get out of here. Hoist me up. Me hoist you up? Yes, you. You won't be able to pull me up from up there. Ilya? Are you alive? Ilya? Yeah. All right. Yeah. What's going on? Of course it wasn't a coincidence, and now Indica realized it too. She had heard about the Kudyats and its miracles, but right now, it's Spasov and Ilya. Meeting a prisoner who talks to God would not be an everyday occurrence. Also, Indica took a liking to him. Who, this one? No. One way or another, there was certainly no doubt that she had to head for Spasov and not the Danilov Monastery. <gasps> the letter. I cannot neglect my duty. What if there's something important in it? Open it. See for yourself. No. Reading someone else's letter is a greater sin than not delivering it. Greater? How much greater? Twice as much. I don't know. Interesting. So, not delivering two letters is the same as reading one. What about stealing? Pocketing a ruble, for example. Is that worse? Worse. How much worse? This is nonsense. You can't compare such things. Why not? The priest imposes a different penance for different sins. And since you know for sure which is better or worse, there has to be a way of measuring. Then let us say that stealing is ten times worse than not delivering a letter. What about murder? Let us put that at a thousand letters. That would mean that if a postman were to lose a sack full of letters, we'd have a murder. Although, maybe there should be a bulk discount. What about a rapist? A rapist is better than a murderer, right? You are not scared of the sin. You are scared of the letter. Perhaps you should not open it. Do not do it. Best knows you inside out, so everything turned out just as written. <laughs> Defrocked her? Uh, how did that happen? <laughs> Even a dictator. So I was wounded, so have I also fallen through my sins, and my soul is wounded. To whom shall I flee for healing, if not to thee, the compassionate Samaritan? Pour on me, O Christ, thy great mercy. And now I cry to thee as the prodigal, I have sinned before thee, O merciful Father. Receive me, a penitent, and make me as one of thy hired servants. Now I have come unto thee, my Lord and God, a sinful and burdened one, and 
having a boldness to look up into the heights of heaven because of the multitude of my transgressions. For as thou in thy deep wisdom hast had compassion on us, so also in these latter days hast thou made us anew by thy blood shed. Because of thy boundless someone and go to jail sooner or later you get pushed out of there Other world from Silent Hill. I think this has a platforming aspect. The abbess knows you is. So if I don't pray, the world opens up. I've got to find a way around. So, wow, this could get interesting as far as shifting. heard it for a while. Listen, I'll help you get to Spasov. Somehow, Indica was convinced that the Kudets was going to solve all of her problems. That soon, the voice in her head would disappear and she would return to the monastery as someone who deserves at least forgiveness, if not everyone's love. She thought that years of suffering had been leading her up to this exact moment. I figured out what this place is. This is Denisovka, the paint factory. Marfa told me about it. She, she's our iconographer. They make yellow paint in that shed. Where is everyone? There was an explosion. They say everyone was evacuated in one day. Americans, I guess. Very likely. Or the English. Where is everyone? Did they all turn into werewolves or what? <coughs> In the life of Metropolitan Sinist, figures, Demika has demons. Where do we go now? Stairs! There should be a station behind the windmill.
platformer. So I figured out, these ice flows are like a teeter-totter. So, in order to get up there, I just gotta French way. Won't work with me. Wrong, uh, way. I won't make it. Hold on! We'll think of something! <gasps> exactly what we need. Underwater, huh? I don't know. I'd wait for a couple of hours, just to be sure. The stairs are broken. We'll have to go through the mill. this one artist in the clink. He drew his family on the wall with his own shit. They look so lifelike. What? He was like that. Didn't manage to finish the drawing of the daughter, though. Le left her with just one eye. He got stabbed. Because of the stench? No. He, he was drawing on the wall outside. It was minus 30 oh. degrees. That's Shit freaking really gross. Cold. He got stabbed. Because, well, it's against the code. So where do we go now? The elevator. Here's the gearing. Planetary gear set. By, by blocking one of the wheels, you can change the direction of the shaft rotation. I see. Hey. I guess we should look for an intact cotter. I see. Doesn't fucking work. Nothing works here right now. It's a cotter, a safeguard. It breaks when there's an overload to protect the important parts of the engine. I see. Go up! Go up! I 
think I'm starting to get the hang of this, so this is like one of those counterweight things. Go down! Going down. reminds me of like old style story adventure games. It's crazy cuz they don't really make them like this anymore. this girl so calm bouncing like this I told you we should have gone around ever been to the circus yeah yeah Deserved it. It's bad. It was sinful. There are no sinners among dogs. Only humans can sin. I'm tempted by the devil. And that dog, its humans left, stopped feeding it. So it became a matter of survival. Interesting. So what's the difference between a human and a dog? The thing you're blaming the devil for is as likely to happen to a human as it is to a dog. It gets angry when its food is taken away. It's ready to tear anyone apart if its possessions are threatened. A dog gets sad if its beloved human is not around. It gets jealous, anxious, even sodomy as possible. Remember that one time when Georgie... That's different. They needed to survive. To find the most promising partner, give birth to offspring. And a human? You have such a simple explanation for a dog. But how come humans can never do without divine or devilish intervention? Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you're interested, like and subscribe, and I'll play the whole thing when it releases.